And welcome back. Since June is National Alzheimer's and Brain Awareness Month, we're going to share tips to give you your noggin <laughs> a little extra loving. These are suggestions to boost your brain health. That's right, Justine Barton is the Director of Training and Engagement at Azura Assisted Living and Memory Care. And we're so excited to have you back. Good to see you, Justine. Hi. Thank you. Glad to be here. Absolutely. Before we get to some of these brain boosting tips and ideas, which I love, I'm super excited to hear about them. Just kind of talk to people a little bit about what Alzheimer's is and how you describe it. Sure. So so Alzheimer's disease is the most common type of dementia. It affects parts of the brain that control um, memory, language, and thought. And um, although age is the number one risk factor for Alzheimer's mm. disease, it's not a normal part of aging. Yet there are currently about 50 million people living with this disease. Wow, oh, it's so sad. Um, we were talking to you about just talking with mm -hmm. uh, former Governor Marty Schreiber. He's talked about his wife Elaine, who just passed away in the last year. Um, why do you think it's so important this this month? This designation is important to raise awareness about Alzheimer's disease. Yeah, so Alzheimer's disease is currently the sixth leading cause of death, um, and it. It's the only leading disease that there is no prevention, treatment, or cure. Mm. And in fact, um, it currently kills more Americans than breast and prostate cancer combined. Wow, oh, I didn't know that. I don't. I didn't know that either. And I, I think when people think about it, their, you know, a lot of people are afraid of it, especially if someone in their family has had it, you know, and, and they've seen the progression of the disease. Are there ways that we truly can boost our brain health and maybe give ourselves a, a fighting chance? Yeah, so they really recommend like five ways to really love your brain. Um, the first one being to um, hit the gym. Yeah. So regular exercise is really important, whether it is going to the gym or joining a fitness class or just getting outside and walking, it's really important that you do get 30 minutes of exercise a day. My mom has, through Medicare, it's, I think it's called Silver Sneakers, yeah. yes. and mm -hmm. she can actually join the YMCA and do all of their classes, I believe, at absolutely no cost. So really, there's so many great ways in people's communities to yeah. find ways to do it very affordably, if not free. Absolutely. Um, and getting outside, we know, is good for us, too. Um, the next thing you say is really fueling our body and eat, eating healthy. Yeah, so really making sure to eat a healthy diet full of green leafy vegetables and plenty of fruits is really important as well. Also, um, hitting the snooze button. It's really important that um, we get enough sleep every yeah. night. So um, impaired or not getting enough sleep is actually linked to having cognitive decline and impairing your thinking and reasoning. So it's really important that we all get at least eight hours of sleep a day. Interesting. So much easier yeah. said than done, right? I right. mean, like just on an average basis, I bet a lot of people don't get eight hours. I think that would seem like a luxury to many people, especially mm -hmm. parents, you know. Um, you also say mental health truly matters. And there's such a highlight on taking care of mental health because we've all, you know, been through the last two years of heightened mental health issues. Exactly. And studies have showed a link between um, cognitive decline and depression. Mm. So it's really important that if people are struggling, that they, you know, they do something about it and get the help they need. The fifth tip you say is to challenge yourself. What do you mean by that? Yeah, so it's really important to, you know, not do what you're good at. Sometimes people will say, oh, well, I do the morning crossword every day. Well, if you're good at it, that's not oh. really challenging yourself. You got to do oh. something you're not good at. Yes. That really makes you think, you know? So even things like we all take the same way home from work every day, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. They say, like, take a different way home from work so that you're actually having to think about it. Because sometimes we're just on autopilot. Have you ever like planned to go to the grocery store and you just end up home and you're like, wait a minute, I totally. want to stop at the store. Yes. Because you're just on autopilot. I love that. Challenge yourself. Yeah. You know, with something that's truly different that makes you think. Brush your teeth with your left hand or put your <laughs> other leg in your pants first. I mean, little things like that yes. that make your brain probably wake up, I think would be super simple. So for me, I'd try. be doing math. Yeah, there you yeah. go. <laughs> That's how I challenge myself. <laughs> All right, we'll put you to it after the show. Yeah. yeah. What about somebody who's caring for a loved one? You know, we obviously addressed Marty and, and how many years he cared for his wife Elaine before she passed. And this is something that a lot of people are doing is caring for someone with Alzheimer's. Yes, there are. So we are actually offering a training class geared towards families oh, nice. at our Fox Point location um, in July. 
where families can not only learn about the disease and the different types and kind of what to expect, but they can also learn communication strategies, how to handle difficult situations, and just really the do's and don'ts of dementia care. Mm. Yeah, I'm sure there's a lot of grieving um, that goes on before you lose someone. I hope that people give themselves grace about that. Tell us real quickly, because we're running out of time, about your annual thrift sale. Yes, so um, the Alzheimer's Association does a walk to end Alzheimer's every year and we used to do an annual thrift sale in the Eau Claire area where we raised about $150,000 for the Alzheimer's wow. Association. We're now moving that thrift sale to the Milwaukee area at our Brookfield location Yay. and so we are That's looking great. for new and gently used um, clothing items, household items, really anything you would find all in a ages rummage sale. Or for older for all ages. For all ages, yep. Okay. And nice. so we're going to have a drop off at um, the barn right on Capitol Drive in Brookfield. Yeah. Every Monday starting July 11th from 7 a.m. to 2 p.m. where you can drop things off. All of the proceeds from the thrift sale will go to the Alzheimer's Association and Dementia Friendly Elmbrook, which are both nonprofit organizations. So yeah. donations and um, gifts are 100% tax deductible. Oh, Wonderful. Justine, so nice to have you here again. Yeah. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Good to see you. Azura Assisted Living and Memory Care invites you to attend Mosaic Approach to Care. That's their family training session with Justine. It's happening on Tuesday, July 19th from 9 to 1, and it's at their Fox Point location, as she mentioned. Also, if you've got a bunch of stuff that you're looking to donate to a good cause or donate cash as well, Azura is having a thrift sale in August benefiting the Alzheimer's Association and Dementia Friendly Elm Elmbrook, as she said. You can drop off items every Monday starting July 11th at their barn at their Brookfield location. And if you've got questions about anything that you've seen or heard today, just reach out to the folks at Azura. It's 715-491-0880 or you can go to AzuraLiving.com. Thanks so much.